Welcome to Spiritual Awakenings. I'm PK Pastor Kevin, your friendly neighborhood pastor. Good to have you here. This is also Superman Day and also the anniversary of the theatrical release of Raiders of the Lost Ark. Not that that's very important, but I thought I would put that out there. Also the birthday of actor Jason Mewes. In Psalm 71, verse 8, in the Passion Translation, the psalmist said, I'm overflowing with your praise for all you've done, and your splendor thrills me all day long. Speaking to God. Sounds good. Overflowing, splendor thrills me all day long. But then in the next verse, in verse 9, he sounds a bit more insecure. Now, I'm not sure if King David wrote this psalm or somebody else. I'll just call him the psalmist. But he sounds a bit insecure when he says in verse 9, Now that I'm old, don't send me aside. Don't let go of me, and my strength is spent. Don't let go of me when my strength is spent. Now, if King David wrote this psalm, or whoever wrote this psalm, some believer, some Hebrew, why would he ask God not to set him aside? Why would he say, don't let go of me when my strength is spent? Well, we know through medical science that over the age of 50, women lose estrogen through menopause. And men lose about 1% of testosterone per year. It's a scientific fact, unfortunately, regarding our home hormones. So the point is, no matter how long you've been a believer, no matter how close you are to God, no matter how strong of a spiritual connection you have, no matter how much of the Bible you know, no matter how many times you've seen God come through for you in your life, it is inevitable that you and I will have moments of anxiety and insecurity the older we get. Now, perhaps you're a teenager or in your 20s, 30s. This will begin to really affect you when you're in your 40s and 50s and even more so in 60s and beyond. That's why men have uh, a midlife crisis. I've had one. I've had multiple midlife crises, plural. I really have. And when you feel like life's slipping away and you're, you're no longer young and you don't feel strong or you don't feel as energetic you don't feel desirable or appealing. That's normal. That's part of life. And when you feel insecure and you don't feel close to God, when you don't feel like your spiritual connection is what it used to be, no matter how many times you pray or read the Bible, it's okay. It's normal. It's not just you. It doesn't mean there's anything wrong with your relationship with God. And it certainly doesn't mean that God has abandoned you or forgotten you. It means that our bodies are changing and our, our hormones decrease with each passing year, I'm sad to say. And that makes us feel less secure. That makes us feel more anxious. On top of that, as we get older... We have problems now that we didn't have 20 years ago or 30 years ago. When you go through situations that test your faith or make you anxious, you may not feel God's presence. You may not feel your spiritual connection. You may not feel the Holy Spirit. But remember this. Remember that Jesus himself was at his most vulnerable point on the cross. 
And when he hung on the cross, one of the things that he, he said was, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Now, did God really forsake his only begotten son? The answer is no. The Bible says over and over again that God will never leave you or forsake you. So if that's true about you and I and, and David and Jeremiah and Elijah and Isa, uh, Isaiah. It, it, it is certainly true about Jesus. But, but he felt that way on the cross. He felt as if he was forgotten, abandoned. He felt as if God had forsaken him. But God wouldn't be our loving Heavenly Father if he forsook us and abandoned us in our darkest hour. And that was Christ's darkest hour. No question. That was his darkest moment in life. So God did not forsake Jesus when he hung on the cross. And God did not forsake King David when, when he said those exact words in the Psalms. And God has not and will not ever forsake you. God will never forsake you. When you go through a dark time, when your faith is tested, you may feel insecure. You may feel shaky. You may feel anxious. And that anxiety may hang on for a long time. You may feel abandoned, but it's not true. You may feel alone, secluded. You may feel weak and vulnerable. And you may say things like in Psalm 71, God, now that I am old, don't set me aside. Don't let go of me when my strength is spent. You may say something like that to God in, in your own prayer life, but that's okay. It's okay and normal and human and natural that you feel that way. Because the psalmist said the, the exact same thing in Psalm 71. It's not just you. It's not just you having a midlife crisis. It's not just you wondering when you're going to find love. It's not just you th that feels diminished, decreased, deflated year after year after year. It's not just you having a, a hormone drop. It's not... It's not just you that gets tired and impatient and weary of people disappointing you and discouraging you. I'm with you, sister or brother. I'm with you. So just give yourself a break. Forgive yourself. Let yourself off the hook. As you get older, it is a known fact that your hormones decrease. And that makes you feel, that makes you feel more insecure, more anxious. You may find yourself more prone to, say, medical anxiety as you get older than you used to. God's got you. Everything is still going to work out for you. God's holding you. God has not left you. God will never leave you. God will never forsake you. You're in his hands. And God is not going to let you go. I want to pray for you. Thank you, God, that as we feel more insecure, more anxious sometimes, thank you that your guidance and love and presence in our lives is the same now as it has been all of our lives. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And your love for us and our security in Christ is the same yesterday, right now, today, and forever. In Jesus' name, amen.